hey guys welcome back to the channel so as promised last week today I am announcing my next contract coming up here in Florida also Cole mm -hmm. oh, in the oh background. hey guys in the background when did you one. get here did you give him a drink come on be polite <laughs> oh my god so ignore the typing you're gonna probably hear but as promised I'm gonna be announcing my next contract which if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it because I've already posted about it there, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you really should because you're missing out. It's some really great content. Um, you can follow me at bgraph100, same as my TikTok, TikTok and Instagram, both bgraph100, so follow me there. Um, but basically, this contract, I auditioned for this like literally in like January or February. Like it's been a good hot minute. Um, and I really thought I like was out of the running like for this like after I'd done an initial callback and it turns out I was wrong and uh, I ended up booking it which is very fun. Um, it is with a company I have already worked for. Um, it is at a theme park um, so you can <laughs> you can think of what your guess is in like the next three seconds um, but I am doing an <laughs> Go. Now I'm doing an animated contract with Universal or Universal Studios Florida, so Universal Orlando. Um, I'm gonna try not. I wanted to phrase my wording specifically, um, but I got offered an animated contract um, to do meet and greet um, with them in the park, which is super fun and exciting because that'll move me to daily operations and I'll be part-time now with them instead of just seasonal, um, which is what I was um, from doing Horror Nights. And it was kind of under crunch time because if I didn't book anything before Horror Nights came around again, um, then I would lose my ID with Universal. So I'd have to do either Horror Nights again um, or like book something in the meantime. So um, the fact that I booked this, keeps my ID and now that it's daily operations it's kind of like you know it's not going anywhere so pretty cool um but I'm gonna be hanging out with the Scooby-Doo gang which would be super fun Ruh -ruh. Ruh -ruh, um so that'll be super fun because there's like five of them so you can kind of play off each other and I think that'll be super fun um and just kind of getting to hang out with Scooby and the rest of the gang Stuff like that. Um, it is gonna be very difficult because this is actually my first um, animated contract that's gonna be outside. Um, everything I've done has normally been like inside, which is very nice because air conditioning. Um, so outside in Florida in the summer. As if you're not hot enough already. Yeah. It's uh okay. <laughs> Ridiculous. So. That's gonna be a time because it's already like 90 degrees in Florida, like on the reg. So in like July, it's gonna be brutal. So we're gonna we're gonna be super fit by the end of the summer, basically. But I'm very excited. I had to pass a fitness test to get approved. So I officially passed my fitness test last week. Um, so everything is confirmed. Um, but yeah, I auditioned for this literally back in like January or February, and then I did a callback sometime around then and they were like okay our next round of callbacks will be like next week so if you don't hear about that like you're probably not on the running anymore and I didn't hear anything so I was like okay guess I didn't book that that sucks um and then it wasn't until like sometime in April that I had gotten a email to do a last minute like fitting and to like come in and I had no idea what I was coming in for and um, they were basically like, yeah, we used to do like this round of callbacks, like, you know, a certain way where you'd like come in with a bunch of people, but because of like COVID, we're kind of doing things like more one step at a time and like not bringing as many people in at once just for like safety reasons. So that's why it like takes so much longer to um, like go through this whole process, um, which I totally understand. I actually kind of liked it this way because you got more like individualized attention from the casting team and they get to like actually like remember you a lot better than like just being with hundreds of people doing the same thing um 
and just because I'm only approved in one character right now um, doesn't mean I can't get approved in other roles as well and like come in and do other fittings and whatnot um, just see if I'm a good fit for other things so that's super fun um, I kind of see like where this takes me with Universal. I'd obviously I would love to do like parades and stuff like that. That could also lead into this eventually and other opportunities um, with seasonal stuff as well. But I'm excited to kind of like see what happens this summer. I think I'm kind of like getting the ball rolling and where I want to be. And like I said last week, auditions are crazy in Universal right now. Like everything is submitting and um, requesting submissions right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna spend some time at Universal over the summer, and I'm still gonna be at the bakery um, for right now, like for half the week. Um, but we'll also see what happens with Legoland if anything comes of that for the summer. And yeah, we're just excited. So I start rehearsals in June. Woohoo! Woo I start rehearsals in June, and then once those are done, I'll probably start like actually like performing in the parks. Um, but yeah, if you're in the local Central Florida area, again, make sure to follow me on Instagram and I can DM set times and whatever, all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's my little update. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I know it's a super short little park and park type of video, but um, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as always, just to stay up to date on the latest content. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, BeGarf100, you know the gist. And I'll see you guys next week, Thursday at 6 p.m. Bye. Bye. Bye.